You might have seen a glimpse of this in my last video where I was resin 3D printing chicken wings and some of you wanted more details on this brand new wash and cure station from Elegoo. This is the Mercury Plus V3 wash and cure station. And if you'll notice, they've gone back to the original design of having one individual base that you can swap in and out with the actual cleaning tank. With the previous unit, we had these two individual stations that were great to work with. And I had been using these for well over a year constantly and you'll see how gunked up and nasty they can get with a lot of use with your resin 3d printing but again this is going to be slightly larger when it comes to your ability to not only clean but also cure your prints so we've got a taller vertical space here to accommodate taller prints as well as this base pattern is a good bit larger as well compared to the one that we had previously you also notice on the previous base station they had a lower curing light source that would cure upwards as you're curing your prints. Now on the newer model here, they actually have mirrors in place that's gonna reflect the UV lights from those bars onto your prints from the underside. And there's even these little reflective light channels here covering the actual UV lights. And I'll be honest, I don't know exactly what that does, but so far everything's been curing beautifully with this new unit. And when you're not needing to cure your prints, all you do is take this tray off and then insert the actual cleaning tank which slots perfectly in a pit place and it's actually held in by some magnets. This tank is also slightly larger than this previous iteration as well. And instead of having that metal basket, we now have a plastic one here that has adjustable top support bars here. So depending on which build plate you're working with, you can adjust this to fit that so that if you wanted to rest the build plate directly inside this tank, you can now do that. The other really cool thing about this is that the lid is actually now lifted up higher so that you can actually fit and close this all in place with the actual basket that's in there, including those handles. So you no longer have to reach into the basket to get this little thing out. You can just have you access these handles directly from the upper half of the wash tank. And on the side of the base station is where you're gonna find the power switch and the power supply. And there's also a mystery plug that I honestly have no idea what is gonna be plugged directly into that. I'm assuming it's gonna be a UV pen that they might offer or fingers crossed is what I'm really hoping is that Elegoo starts offering one of those ultrasonic knives to remove supports with. I honestly have no idea and I'm hoping we'll find out here sometime soon. And the best way that I can show this off is to actually resin 3D print some files, which I'm gonna be printing on the Elegoo Saturn 4 Ultra and the Mars 5 Ultra. I also want to mention that Elegoo is the sponsor of today's video and that they've started their Black Friday sales directly over on their website where you can find deals on not only their FDM 3D printers but also their resin 3D printers, filaments, and resins as well as their older wash and cure station. And specifically if you're interested in the Mercury Plus V3 wash and cure station that I'm showcasing here up for pre-order for $130. And if you're in the market for your very first resin 3D printer I can't recommend enough Enough, the Saturn 4 Ultra as well as the Mars 5 Ultra. These have to be the easiest resin 3D printers that I have ever worked with. You'll also notice on the front of the machine is where you can toggle between washing and curing as well as what you want to set your times to. So here I'm going to bump this up in 30 second increments. I'm going to set this for three minutes and let it run. The washing station is also significantly stronger than the previous iteration of the wash and cure station. This seems to get a really good job of thoroughly cleaning out your prints with the isopropyl alcohol. All right, and here are our prints, nice and clean. Now I also mentioned that the basket has an adjustable top depending on which build plate you're working with. So this is the Saturn IV Ultra. If I have the top brackets moved all the way to the end, this seats perfectly on top and it fully rests inside the basket so that I don't even have to remove my prints from the build plate if I wanted to just completely submerge this in our cleaning solution here and get these prints clean. Now the only challenge that you're gonna have when working this way is depending on where where the build plate is resting, you're gonna to need to have your isopropyl alcohol or whatever cleaning solution you have filled all the way back, basically up to the max line if you want it to actually cover and get in contact with the full build plate of your prints. And since the top brackets are adjustable, we can reposition them to fit the Mars 5 Ultra build plate. And once you've gotten your prints cleaned and let them air dry, you can then switch it over to the curing station and get these cured under the UV lights. And it's really nice having that larger base so that you can accommodate even more prints while you're curing.
And let's take a look at some of these prints. First up are these ones from Witch Song Miniatures that turned out amazing. The first here is this larger statue that printed in multiple parts that were printed in Elegoo's Rapid Gray Resin. Next, I swapped over to some Sarai Tech Fast Gray Resin and printed this bust from Witch Song Miniatures, where you can see that I didn't let it fully air dry enough before sticking in the curing chamber, which is why there are some of the powdery white marks on this print. Then with that same Sarai Tech Fast Gray Resin, I printed these miniatures from Loot Studio. Studios, and the details on these look fantastic coming off of the Saturn IV Ultra. And I'm especially loving this Green Knight miniature. Just, it looks spectacular. So I decided I wanted to print this even larger. So I took that same 75 millimeter scale miniature and bumped it up to 150% of the original file size and printed that back on the Saturn IV Ultra and then the base on the Mars V Ultra. And even though this isn't a review of this wash station because it is a sponsored video by Elegoo, I did want to call out some things that I saw while working with it that I want to make sure that you're aware of. Like with this larger miniature that I printed here at 175% of the original file size. It basically took up the full build volume of the Saturn IV Ultra. And if I left it on the build plate here, it ends up bumping into the bottom of the wash tank. So you'll need to be mindful of the larger objects that you're printing. Yes, it'll still fit in this wash tank here, but you can't leave the build plate on and fully have it washed. And I still wish that there was a better cleaning option for the Jupiter and the Jupiter SE. Technically, some of your prints will probably end up fitting inside the wash tank here and as well as being able to cure inside this curing station. However, it's still not going to be able to fit the full build plate or a full size build volume print that you've done with one of these printers inside this new wash station. But you'll have no issues whatsoever if you're working with any of the older Saturn 3D printers or Elegoo Mars resin 3D printers when it comes to getting the build plates to fit inside this wash tank. The only other bit of call out or feedback is that I hope Elegoo will end up offering additional bins that you can buy so that I can not only have one, but additional on hand so that if I have like a dirty wash tank and then a clean set of IPA to use with the tank. I will mention that if you have one of the older units here or can get your hands on one of these older bins, they will actually fit and work on this new curing station. But if you're looking for a larger washing and curing option that's gonna work with your Saturn IV Ultra, this here, this new Mercury Plus V3 is gonna be a fantastic option for you. Again, it's up for pre-order, I'll have it linked below, as well as Elegoo has the older wash and cure station on sale as part of their Black Friday promotion over on their website. Both fantastic options and really up to you with how you want to have your workspace set up, where if you want two dedicated individual washing and curing stations, or if you wanted to minimize that sort of setup and just go with this one singular option. I wanted to mention a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support of me making content here on the interwebs, as well as if you're interested in things like my resin 3D printer settings that I used for these 3D prints, you'll find those over in my Patreon. And let me know what you think about this new wash and cure station from Elegoo. I'm still pretty excited about this because I've been in need of a larger washing option. And so far this is doing a fantastic job with a lot of these resin 3D prints. Hey, thanks so much for watching y'all and I'll see you next time.